Hi guys, um, just wanted to do a little update on the tank here. Let you guys see how things were going. I know I said I was going to do another video yesterday, but but um, everything that's going on and um, all the work that I've had to do, I just didn't have the time to put out one. But just wanted to let you guys see how this process was going. Um, I got everything moved in, you know, still need to do some rearranging, some a little more aquascaping. Um, but for the most part, tank is up and running. Um, I've got one of my uh, Hydro 26s um, that I purchased for this tank that's up and running. Um, on the other side, I'm still using one of my old Chinese LEDs, which basically I'm just, I've got to save up a little more for the purchase of the second Hydro. Um, if we look down below, the sump area, I've got everything hard plumbed, um, blue PVC. Um, there's still uh, um, four shutoff valves that I'm that I didn't have the money for right now to complete this. So I'll be getting those shortly, uh, putting those in, and which I got the pump down here. I um, purchased, uh, get some focus here, purchased another um, JBO, however you say it, um, DCT. 4,000 that's going to be running this, which um, which I'm going to have hooked up to this four-valve um, four manifold, um, my UV sterilizer back there, um, bulk reef supply, BRS and carbon, or GFO and carbon reactor, uh, my inline heater back there. And my bio pellet reactor. It's all gonna be running off of that line. So, um, sump area, I've also taken one of the Chinese LEDs and just set that on top there for my refugium light. Um, skimmers up and running, it's breaking back in because basically all the stuff that I've taken from the other tank to um, used on this system. I did a thorough cleaning of all the pumps and everything. Still trying to get all this um, dialed in with the um, built-in overflow. As you know, I've been running a, um, a hang on the back overflow with my old system. Um, so this thing is it's a little noisy. Um, Still haven't quite gotten it down in, and it's an open system, so it makes it a little louder. But this is where we're at. Um, if you've seen a couple of my previous videos, you know I built this box for my equipment here, which I've got to do quite a bit of work with it. Um, like I said, I just kind of threw everything on here to just get it up and running. Um, the Spox was mounted um, another way, which, if you look, opens like this. I'm still debating on whether I want to remove the hinges off the bottom and put them on one of the sides to have it open from the side, but regardless, it's just a court mess in here, which I'm going to be taking everything out of this box and turning it to, you know, right side up pretty much, because um, as we look, it's looking at everything from the side, but like I said, there's quite a bit of work left to do in that box, so that's the, um, you know, one of the next process that I'm going to be doing here, but so far, this is the system, I think it went pretty well. I managed to only lose um, 
Oh, two pieces of coral that seem to be buried in the sand somewhere that I weren't able to find. Wanted to move, but just managed to catch all the fish pretty easily. Um, it's not very much of a problem with getting those guys moved over. Like I said, it's middle of the night, so everything's kind of sleeping. I've only just turned this light on just for um, filming this video. But, yeah. This is where we're at. SPS seems to be happy. Um, just gonna keep an eye on things for the next few days. Um, I'm, you know, kind of expecting a algae bloom, you know, but being a new system and all. Yeah, we'll see how this goes, and I will let you guys or update you as I get further along with this process. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Catch you guys later.